Scarbs, we'll look next week at your first view of the 2019 regulations. But mm -hmm. in the meantime, at Austin, new floor on the Ferrari. Yeah, so yeah, with the bad weather, the floor came out. It was uh, scrutinized. It was tested in free practice, then put away for the rest of the weekend. Because if you can't do enough testing with these new parts, teams prefer to go back to old specs. But the new floor is very interesting, and particularly when we start to look towards the, the regulations. And as we've spoken about so many times already this year, you know, these, the current regulations with these very wide floors and the change in regs that allow you to have slots uh, along the edge of the floor, mm -hmm. it's become a very powerful tool in addition to the, you know, the complexity of the front wings and the barge boards. It's another area that they're using. So lots of people are having these slots put into the floor. And Ferrari went one step further. Not only have they got a whole series of aerofoil sections with slots in between them, but they've also got some vertical fins along the floor directing the flow outwards. And this really starts to show us exactly what is happening with right. the airflow here. Because historically, when we've spoken about holes in the floor, it's actually trying to get air on the inside of the rear tyres, between the tyre and the diffuser, which will stop the air that come, bounces off the tyre going into the fuse, what we call tyre squirt, try and get rid of that. But these longer uh, slots along the edge of the floor are actually something quite different. And this is all about, again, this outwash thing. So it's about, strangely enough, because we're talking about the floor, it's about talk, stopping the turbulence of the front tyres coming along the car and getting sucked into the Coke bottle area. Right. So already you've got the front wing creating outwash, you've got the barge boards and all the bodywork inside there pushing that wake outwards. And now you've actually got the whole edge of the floor all mm. the way back to the rear tyres is getting the air that's parting sideways around the car, spinning it up and pushing the airflow around the rear tires. And as I said, these vertical fins on the Ferrari show you how aggressively this yeah. outwash is being created. And it's interesting because the, the mechanics or the aerodynamics of this is that the airflow of what we call the Y250 that's formed by the front wing and the barge boards is rotating one direction. And then the airflow created off of this edge of the floor is going the other direction. So it's actually driving the Y250 vortex, which makes the outwash effect even stronger. Now, regulations for 2019 are there to prevent lots of this outwash effect, but the rules are only really looking at the, the front wing design and the, the blown uh, wheel oh, right. setup. So whatever teams can do next year with these massively complicated barge boards, I mean, they really are getting absolutely ridiculous now when you look above and mm. look down on them. Plus, you've got this whole floor thing, which is becoming ever more complex. The regs next year, may the effect of them, which should work to a degree to improve overtaking, will be somewhat diminished by the increasing complexity next year when everyone's really worked in their barge boards and their floor regs even further. So it will be again 2021 before all of this kind of stuff gets cleaned up properly and we can hopefully go back to some proper overtaking.